Cheerio, I'm Amy. And I'm Nick. And, and we're, we're Carmen, Carmen. And you're watching TheInsider.com. I've been fans of, of you guys since you kind of started and, and uh, you know, was sharing your covers on Facebook with my friends and stuff. Hey, thank and, you. and now thank you're you. here and you're, uh, you know, you're about to put out your debut record. And how are you guys feeling? And tell me about Hello. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you, first of all, for supporting. I mean, this album is really for for you. I mean, people that spread our music and because literally a year ago, pretty much a year ago, a year ago, yeah. we were in a little apartment in Boston just throwing up a $99 webcam from Best Buy <laughs> and recording these YouTube videos. And it's insane that we just had this idea together, like, let's start a group, let's call it Carmen, and let's just put music up. And yeah. now we have this debut album. It kind of tells our story. There's a ton of rapping. Uh, kind of Nicki Minaj-esque stuff. Some of it, we love Kanye West, so I'm gonna say that. It's a little, it's a little far-fetched. It's definitely kind of a mixture of pop and hip-hop. We definitely <laughs> consider ourselves kind of music snobs a little bit. Um, so we wanted to make sure we put the first release, a good, it's tough because we love the pop stuff too. And yes. Broken Hearted kind of um, is an example of that. Yes. But in the same hand, like, we also love John Mayer singer-songwriter stuff. A lot of the Kanye stuff is really deep. But so we kind of wanted to marry those two where it's still catchy and commercial, but still saying something. It still has earthy elements, like there's trombones in there, there's acoustic guitar, mm -hmm. um, a lot of acoustic instruments really kind of mixed in with like the hip hop beats and the 808s. So. Yeah, we love that. What's the most insane celebrity encounter that you've had? The most in insane celebrity encounter that we've had? Oh God. Hmm, this is a tough one, this is tough. David Letterman hit on me. That was no. It's no. <laughs> the only one we Can't ever met. Than I love you. Go I ahead. would say meeting with Kanye West. That was crazy. That was definitely We're such insane. huge fans, and he took time to sit down with us at a hotel in New York City while him and Jay Z were recording "Watch the Throne Upstairs." I mean, we were freaking out yeah. inside. We and tried he, to play it cool. He literally sat down for like two hours. He ended up opening his laptop and playing us stuff he was working on and everything. Yeah, no, it was pretty intense. It was crazy. Is there an Kanye's inner circle? That's so cool. I, I don't know about yeah, that. I, would I wouldn't say that so. quite yet. We, we get coffee. Uh, <laughs> I have a really serious question for you guys. Um, have you ever crashed a party? <laughs> Hell yeah, oh, we crashed serious. parties. So actually, the broken hearted video is based on how we met, which actually I don't think I was invited to that party. No, neither was I. I. Used to crash. That that dude was kind college, of my buddy. Yeah. But I just used to show up all the time. Eventually, they just stopped opening the door for me because I would just like show up and drink all their you crashed lemonade. You crashed the party. You crashed so it's real life. life. Yes, in college, oh, yeah. we were party crashers. And then somebody asked us one time if we were wedding crashers, and I was like, whoa, whoa, that's totally different. Well, already made a movie. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know, um, looking into the future, record seven from you guys, what's your biggest dream? You already have an American Music Award underneath your belt. You know, what's that one Whoa. thing that you close your eyes and you think it might be possible for me to achieve this? I mean, everybody, everybody wants to try to get you know Grammys and stuff like that, and that's yeah, please. Um, we just want to continue to still be making music and making really amazing music and stuff that still inspires us, and we want to be traveling everywhere and play it for every and just impact the world in some way. You know what I mean? In a positive way. That's why we have Carmen in our names. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. We well, Carmen is Carmen in Latin means song, which is we believe like lives beyond the, any artist, and then karma is how you get the spelling, like our own spelling of Carmen. But they're just kind of, we Whoa. scientifically invented a band name. Oh, I can't seem to let you go. Come on, that's right.